Hi, so in this video we are going to learn how one trigonometric ratio gets changed into another trigonometric ratio depending upon the angle. You must have seen that you convert sin 90 minus theta into cos theta or cos 90 minus theta into sin theta and sometimes the values also become negative. So why is it so and how it happens? All that I am going to cover in this video. So I explained you the values of trigonometric ratios using unit circle. That means by using the circle whose radius is of of unit length. So suppose if I draw an angle theta over here then the coordinate of this point are represented by cos theta sin theta. The x coordinate of this point is cos theta and the y coordinate is sin theta and that is because if I draw a perpendicular from this point to the x axis then this becomes a right angle triangle where this is 90 degrees and this if I assume as the origin that is 0 0 and if the coordinates of this point are x and y then length from here till here will be x and this length will be equal to y and sine theta will be equal to y divided by the radius of the circle which is 1 in this case. So sine theta will be equal to y and cos theta which is base divided by hypotenuse that is x divided by 1 then the value of x coordinate of this point will be cos theta and that is why they are represented like this. So this much we have learnt earlier and now we are going to change this angle to 90 minus theta, 90 plus theta and then we'll see how the values of cos and sine change from one value to another and if we can fix the behavior of sine and cos we can very well fix the behavior of other trigonometric ratios that is tan, cosec, cot and sec. So let's do that. So here let us assume that this is 0 0 and this is angle theta and if I convert this into a triangle then it will look something like this where this angle is theta. So the coordinates of this point are cos theta and sin theta right. This we have discussed and now let us talk about cos 90 minus theta and sin 90 minus theta right where this angle is theta then this much angle will become 90 minus theta. So here if you see properly this triangle the triangle in purple and the triangle in orange they are congruent triangles that means this length is actually equal to this length and this length is equal to this length. That means the coordinates of this point the value of x coordinate of this point will actually be equal to the value of y coordinates of this point that is sin theta and the value of y coordinates of this point will actually be equal to the value of x coordinate of this point that is cos theta. That means cos 90 minus theta which is the value of x coordinate of this point will be equal to sin theta and sin 90 minus theta that is the value of y coordinate of this point will actually be equal to cos theta right. Similarly if I talk about 90 plus theta then that theta will be somewhere over here and again this triangle will be congruent to this triangle and this triangle also where this much is equal to this much and this is common then the coordinates of this point will be cos 90 plus theta and sin 90 plus theta and here we have positive x and in this direction this is negative x that means the coordinates of this point will actually be equal to this much length is on the x axis which is equal to this length on the y axis which is equal to sin theta that means the coordinates of this point will be equal to minus sin theta because this is on the negative x axis and cos theta because this is positive axis right. So that is why cos 90 plus theta is equal to minus sin theta because it represents the x axis and from this point onwards on the left hand side the x axis is negative. So this will be minus sin theta and sin 90 plus theta that is the y coordinate of this point is equal to cos theta. And now if I talk about 180 minus theta then this will be a triangle something like this where this is angle theta and this triangle will also be congruent to this triangle where this much length will be equal to this length and this length will be equal to this length right. So the coordinates of this point will be equal to length on the x axis which is same 
as here that is cos theta so this will be equal to minus cos theta and this much length will be equal to this length that means the y coordinate will be equal to sin theta and this is on the positive y axis so this will be positive sin theta. So when we talk about cos 180 minus theta and sin 180 minus theta this is actually equal to minus cos theta and sin theta right and similarly if I talk about 180 plus theta so that angle will be somewhere over here this much angle will be equal to 180 plus theta angle till here is 180 degrees and this is again equal to theta then again if I make the right angle triangle it will be something like this and where this length will be equal to this length and this is common so this triangle is again congruent to our original triangle over here and the coordinates of this point which are cos 180 plus theta and sin 180 plus theta they will be equal to this much length is equal to cos theta but it is on the negative x-axis so this will be minus cos theta and this length will be equal to sin theta which is equal to this length but it is on the negative y-axis starting from here in this direction is negative y axis so this will be minus cos theta and minus sin theta right so cos 180 plus theta is minus cos theta and sin 180 plus theta will be equal to minus sin theta right and similarly if I talk about 270 minus theta angle from here till here is 270 degrees and if I again draw a line like this where this angle is equal to theta then the coordinates of this point will represent cos 270 minus theta and sin 270 minus theta right and let me again complete the triangle this triangle will again be congruent to this triangle where this length is equal to this length or equal to this length and this length will be equal to this length or equal to this length so this much length is actually equal to this length so that is minus sine theta so the coordinates of x coordinate of this point will be equal to minus sine theta and this much length that is the y coordinate which is negative over here and the length is equal to cos theta so this will also be negative and the length will be equal to cos theta so cos 270 minus theta is minus sine theta and sine 270 minus theta is actually equal to minus cos theta and if I talk about 270 plus theta I have to draw a line like this where this angle is theta and if I complete this triangle the coordinates of this point will represent cos 270 plus theta and sine 270 plus theta and this length is actually equal to this length and this much length is equal to sine theta so cos 270 plus theta will be equal to sine theta and this much length is actually equal to minus cos theta that means sine 270 plus theta will be equal to minus cos theta right and if I talk about 360 minus theta this will be representing the angle 360 which is this much total angle minus theta that means this angle is theta and again if I complete the right angle triangle the coordinates of this point will represent cos 360 minus theta and sine 360 minus theta and again this new triangle is congruent to this triangle and all these triangles which I have made earlier so this length will be equal to this length and this length is same as this length so the x coordinate of this point will be equal to the x coordinate of this point that is cos theta and y coordinate of this point that is this much will be equal to the y coordinate of this point that is minus sine theta right so this is the explanation and based on this sine theta and cos theta and their behavior you can easily find out the values of tan cot sec and cosec also sine and cosec behaves in the same fashion sec and cos behave in the same fashion so that's all for this video and in next video we will talk about the behavior of tan and cot in different quadrants so keep watching MathSmart, subscribe to it and don't forget to press the notification bell because then only you will get to know about my new upcoming videos so bye bye till then